Hi folks, Jason Webster here, lead commercial agronomist with Precision Planning. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Inside PTI. Hey, today we are actually at the PTI farm in Pontiac, Illinois, and I'm doing a little bit of corn scouting. And one of the things that always amazes me as I'm walking through corn is trying to identify and, and measure these corn plants that get incorrect leaf orientation. Now, leaf orientation, some of you are probably wondering, what are you talking about here? Well, think about it here. We've got 30 inch row corn here and they're planted east and west. And when this corn comes up out of the ground, we've got to start thinking about leaf architecture. So with these corn rows planted east and west, how do you want the corn plant to orient its leaves? So as we look at it, this corn plant should, these leaves should be oriented north and south, opposite of planting direction. Why is that? Well, if we get this plant turned around on a 30 inch row, now all of a sudden these leaves, or you're kind of leaves on leaves, number one, and you're not able to get full sunlight interception. You leave a gap, here in the middle of the row, that's gonna do a couple things. Number one, it's gonna let sunlight hit the soil surface. When that happens, two things occurs. One, what are you gonna to do to temperature? It's gonna go higher, right? Cause sun's hitting the soil, that black dirt is gonna, gonna increase the temperature. And then what are you gonna to do to moisture? If you're heating it up and getting that sun on the soil surface, you're gonna burn moisture. The other thing it can do, since we've got an open gap here of this corn plant, the leaves don't orient correctly, it's gonna be an opportunity for weeds to come because again, sunlight's hitting the soil surface. So on this farm here at PTI, it's a great opportunity for water hemp to come through if these corn plants don't orient correctly and the leaves come across the row, canopy quickly, keep the sunlight out, keep temperature down, keep burning moisture to a minimum, but keep those weeds out of this. So I get frustrated when I'm out here crop scouting. I'm walking through these corn rows and one of the things that just really strikes my eye is these plants that some of them will orient themselves correctly, you know, this way. And then some of them just get all turned around and, and they orient the leaves the wrong direction. And I don't understand this. And we're trying to measure it. How often does it happen in the field? And this particular plot that I'm in, I've got, I'm in a hybrid of corn right here that I had, a, I thought a high count. It was very noticeable to see these plants oriented incorrectly. So I, I went and got a, a can of spray paint and I just went out and, and spray painted the plants that were incorrectly oriented in the row. And I thought maybe today we'd go inside this cornfield and I'd show you some of the plants that got the leaf orientation right and then the ones that got it wrong. What does it look like and what does it add up to? How many plants got it wrong? Let's go into the field. All right, so here we are. We've kind of opened up the canopy a little bit and you can see all these orange plants that I spray painted that had the wrong leaf orientation. And as we were walking through this row, it just seemed like a lot of plants were oriented the wrong way. And so we've actually counted, we've done some good counts out here in this field. And what we're finding with this particular hybrid is that 28.3% of the plants actually are oriented the wrong way. And that's very common in the, in, you know, this is our, our, you know, we've been testing this for multiple years. This is our seventh year of doing leaf orientation measurements in the field. Very commonly, we will end up with 25 to 30% of our plants oriented the wrong way. So this is kind of the standard 28% is very normal, but now we got to figure out now that we know how often it's happening, but now we got to figure out what is the actual yield loss in the fall. We'll go through every single corn plot that we have here at the PTI farm, different corn hybrids, different treatments, what have you. And we will go into where these orange plants are, if you will, and we'll pull the ears off of these plants that are oriented the wrong way and we'll weigh the ears. Then we'll go at least five plants away where the corn plant got the orientation correct. We'll collect those ears and we take those in and we'll weigh those ears for a comparison. At the end of the year, we end up with thousands and thousands and thousands of ears of corn that you know came from plants oriented the right way and the wrong way, and we'll put them to the scale. We'll actually shell them, we'll actually weigh them, and we'll actually calculate a yield loss. All right, let's talk about yield loss. 
We've been collecting data from 2018 to 2024 here at the PTI farm in Pontiac, Illinois. And the best, okay, the lowest amount of yield loss we've recorded over all the trials that we've been working on is a 7.3% yield loss. The worst we've seen, matter of fact, the 7.3% came in 2023. Just a year later in 2024, we saw some of the highest yield losses at 11.2% yield losses. And those, those seem high to me. I mean, just take 10% as an easy number. 10% of 200 bushel corn, that's a 20 bushel yield loss on that ear of corn where that plant was oriented the wrong way. That gets me, um, my eyeballs going big and makes me wondering, hey, how in the world are we going to fix this thing? But I mean, that number may scare you, a 20 bushel yield loss. But again, you have to look at the occurrence factors. I mean, it's not happening 100% of the time. It's happening, again, between 25 and 30% of the time. I don't know what kind of corn you're growing on your home farm, but if you're growing 250 bushel corn, based on our averages over the last seven years, you know, 250 bushel corn being 30% wrong for your occurrence factor, that's going to be about a seven bushel loss in the field overall. And this is something we're keeping our eyes on. Um, where is that number at with certain corn hybrids, with certain treatments we're working on? I will say this, as a whole, narrow row corn is giving us some of the highest incorrect leaf orientation numbers, which kind of worries me a little bit. Um, because as we narrow the rows up, now all of a sudden you have leaves on leaves to a higher degree, especially with some of the higher planting populations that we're dealing with in narrow rows, like 15 inch row corn, compared to some of the work we're doing with 30 inch rows. So some of the things we're, we're trying to monitor here in the field. But that's one of the things I love about the PTI farm is, is we're out here identifying problems, agronomic problems in the field, and we measure. So what is that yield loss? How, how often is it happening and getting a true overall picture of what the economic loss is? I, I really, really like that. And it's something that we need to continue to be doing um, each and every year on our operation. So as you're scouting your fields, take a look at the leaf orientation. As you're walking through your fields or whether you're in a sprayer and you know, riding over top of it, especially with fungicide season coming up, look down, look at the leaf orientation and see how many plants you have incorrectly in your field.